Alright, so she's been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but I thought I was doing this and I s wanted to give the internet my take. But anyways, today we're going to be building our own extension cord, block heater cord, any type of cord. But we're going to be doing a very simple 18 foot cord. You're going to need a cab tire of some variant, we'll talk about that. A set of cord ends of some variant. Generally three tools, a knife, strippers, and a number one Robbie generally gets you to the day or a Phillips but most importantly everyone's gonna need a fresh cracked beer all right sounds simple enough right so we're just gonna be using these um, let's see the straight blade male side this is the female side 515R NEMA configuration cord ends these are Hubble branded they're the pretty much a name brand uh, equivalent or the best on the market. Um, these are worth decent coin. I believe this pair in Canadian pesos right now was worth $14 for the pair out the door at the Canadian wholesaler right now. So not cheap, but worth it. I can't remember off the top of my head what cab tires worth right now, but I'd suspect this stuff would be like 250, three bucks uh, a meter at Home Depot. Maybe I'm way off. Who knows? But anyways, that's what we're dealing with here today are for the cord ends. If you really want to get fancy, here are all the other possible options you could be dealing with. These first three in this row are the ones you'd normally be seeing. And then all your non-locking, and then this whole page is all your locking for all your different voltages. Ain't that interesting. Anyways, today for cab tire, this black stuff is called cab tire. Oh, don't know, don't ask me where that name comes from. But anyways, let's see what we got here today. Um, Carol, that should be the brand. Three conductor, 14 gauge. There's a metric equivalent. It's 90 degree rated. You can get this stuff in different uh, temperature ratings. 90 standard, 110 is pretty high. Good for some high end light fixtures, blah, 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 blah. Service, service junior or water resistant. SJOOW is the CSA standard in Canada. Uh, don't use it past minus 40, at least it's not rated to. FT2, that's the uh, type of chemical gas or fire rating for it. So depending where you can permanently install it, like this would be not, uh, this would not be allowed to be permanently installed in a air plenum. 300 volts, that goes along with Service Junior. This happens to be made in the US. And then you get your uh, foot marks on it and then other manufacturing codes. Back to SJOOW service cord would usually mean 600 volts. Since this is junior, it's only 300 volts. Oil resistance, outer is the first O. Oil resistance, inner is the second O. Weather slash water resistance is the W. Get many different variants, some better in cold temperature, some better all around. But yeah, anyways, let's get to actually making it now that I told you what the hell we're dealing with here. So there's different ways to strip the end of these. You probably want to take back like an inch. I generally score with a sharp knife and break, but it's only scoring so you can see each conductor. That green one has the itty bittiest little nick in it, but barely. Anyways, they're perfect. Then either with side cutters or the knife you just used, take out any stranding or uh, filler that's in the cab tire. Yeah, I know, right? This is totally the safest way to do this. Bare hands, sharp knife. That's just the way she goes. Anyways, strippers. Strip about a quarter inch off of each. A little more, a little less, doesn't matter that much. And twist. So you can get all the strands in there for the best outcome. Anyways, you're gonna wanna do that to both ends of your cable and then we're gonna open up these conductors, connectors by just uh, pulling the screws out a bit more and we'll catch you there. All right, now that we're back and we are where I said we would be, got these opened up. Inside there's three terminals, obviously three prongs. Ground, hot, neutral. On these, one is not sized differently. Sometimes the neutral is bigger. You'll see that on most receptacles or this end, as you can see, the neutral side is a bigger slot. The smaller one is always hot. So then flipping that around, 
With that in mind, we know that our copper terminal will be our black conductor, our silver terminal will be our neutral, and our green will always be our bond. So white, black, green. And here's something that a lot of people don't understand. It doesn't really matter too much, but when you're dealing with cord like these, and when you have them separated, there's something called cable lay, or is that, at least that's what I've known it to be, is one way it will all line up perfectly, as you can see for this male end, this end of the cab tire does not have the correct lay. So say green in the bottom, but black is on the wrong side. Of course, you could just switch them around and uh, shove them in there anyways, not even problem, still correct. But slightly easier, is grab the other end when you when you have both ends available and it's already lined up for you so then you just stick it in sometimes hard to do with one hand but you'll get the knack of it and tighten from the side and same thing with black and white just bend them in don't get any don't get any strands out of there because we're doing a clean job oh we got half a strand straggling but for the purpose of this, it's all good. Turn that down. Get the black in there. Tighten her down. Oh, yeah. You don't need to see someone tighten screws. So, we have our male side done. <laughs> if you really want to get fancy for safety purposes, do the female side first. So, after I finish this side up, that's exposed copper ends. This could be plugged in. Wouldn't that be fun, ladies and gentlemen? Mmm. <sighs> Good stuff. Um, but anyways, yeah, just clamshells closed. Depending on your thickness of cab tire, you would want to remove these black and or white um, spacers in here. They just pop out. Generally, they say on them the cable diameter that they cannot go above and when you should remove them. For our purposes, we're dealing with some pretty small cab tire right now. It's not a problem. So just snug one side up a little bit like that, switch to the other. Screw all the way down on this side. You can do this however you want. But screw down all the way up one on this side. Come back to this side, finish up. So within there, that is clamping down on the jacket of our cab tire. And that is a completed cord end. Not fully waterproof. You can get ones that are waterproof. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up the other end and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, now for your folks, I said I'd talk a little bit after I was done. Well, I will here just to make a slightly longer video. Here's another example. This is the T-slot 20 amp version, which allows you to plug in both the 20 amp sideways prong and uh, vertical 15 amp prong it's allowed and it's also just a different style hovel connector not sure what the difference is there this is south wire royal cord three conductor 12 so one step up on the size but it's s-o-o-w so it's not service junior it's just service so it's 600 volt rated and along with that um, basically everything else is the same but i want you to notice how much physically larger it is for only going up one size. That's because it's not super service junior. This is a heavy duty permanently installed floor cord in, in the shop here. This is an extension cord. Very, very durable. Still much more durable than your Canadian tire equivalent. Speaking of that, I'm about to do something. This is your average Canadian tire Look, it's even block heater extension cord designed for it, brand new. So there's no tomfoolery going on here. Let's see if we have any ratings on this. Of course, these are factory done ends. This is, happens to be 16 gauge, I believe. So, but it's just what I have. We're dealing with, yep, 16 gauge service junior TW. Not sure. 100% what that is, FT2 made in China, that's nice. And you can physically feel that there's no filler in here. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string these both outside, I'm gonna bring them back in and show you just for an example of why spending the extra dollar on this can be very nice compared to this, which will definitely get you by. Anyways, it's minus 30 outside right now, in Celsius by the way, because uh, this is a Canadian video, and uh, I'll show you the difference. So 
Well, this is what I'm talking about. They've both been outside the same amount of time. It's been about 25 minutes outside at minus 30. Cab tire, proper cab tire, still coils. Even though it was kind of in a nice shape, it's nice. It's doing real good in this cold. You know, it's not keeping its form. This stuff here, even though this came from the factory packaging and kind of coiled up like this, I'm trying to display you how crappy this is. This actually performed better than I thought, but still, watch this crease. See all that crease when you bend it? Do the same thing with the cab tire. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. This one's okay, not bad, brand new. Was well, actually sold as a block heater cord, so probably did better in the cold than a lot of cheap extension cords. I should have thrown some other stuff out there. But anyways, crunchy. Still plugs in. Well, that's the wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of really basic, kind of a going after the people searching. Not so much the few subscribers that might end up coming across this right away. Even if it is that you maybe learned some, maybe enjoyed it, maybe you have something to say, put it in the comments down below. Just please don't call me up. Anyways, right on. Have yourselves a good day. Oh, here we go. A little bit of bonus content after the credits here. Plug in located. In there. This end. Go. Plug in the diesel. Here's a sneak attack for when you're plugged in at work. That's not your power. Little heater in the back seat. You know, look familiar. Tucked in, wired in with your car. Got that splitter up front so you can, underneath. Two plug in, out of the one. Beautiful. Keep this inside area nice and toasty after a cold day at work.